thanks for uh, watching this video uh, my name's Alex Kemper this is a very brief short video it's part of the school section uh, in front of us on the screen here we've got uh, uh, mathmos.net this is where we find all the schools that needs doing the one that uh, began to do was Rise Academy uh, that was the way for Rise and it was obviously the wrong one um, it's not located there I checked it out found them there's the government listing on it and I have done most of all of the uh, listing but what I did see was that there's no buildings done so I'm going to show you how to do those buildings I'll just show you the key monitor uh, what can I do here left and right and if I hold down the various keys you'll see those appear as well so you'll know what I'm doing on the keyboard all right let's increase ourselves up uh, click I've got uh, select on and we shall a little bit bigger perhaps okay I think so now press B so as to get the building on and looks like it sticks out on both sides I'm going to do the top of that building to that corner pull it down so it's at the bottom which I th think is a, it's remarkably difficult to tell it's important when you're doing buildings most buildings are square to each other if you're dealing with uh, a circular building or you're dealing with uh, buildings with buildings at odd angles to each other you can't use this method but because most buildings are square uh, the buildings themselves have got right angles inside of them uh, which is why the default building is always a right angle then any other buildings that we draw will be at an angle a right angle to the original building you'll see that as soon as I start on this one well no we shan't do it to the top we shall do it to the original building which is there it is actually easier to choose all the small units and do the small units and you'll see how we combine them all afterwards that's the bit that sticks out there Here's the bit that sticks out here. I think that that is all of those buildings. There's a building here. Let's see if it's square to the original building. It is. And this next one, I believe, is a porter cabin. I was looking at it. on Google Google Street View and what we do now is choose select and select every single one of those buildings that we've done what I want you to notice because this is important for what's going to be coming in, in a second is that some of those nodes are larger than the others that's where it's gone and combined uh, it's default this should be snapping I honestly don't know oh, I don't want to spend ages and ages and ages um, the default is to snap to and it is there somewhere within the system to switch it on switch it off i cannot for the life of me remember 
because it switched on it was causing these to snap to it that will cause them to join what we're going to do is we are going to use this tool join overlapping areas shift J that will join all these buildings together here we go and you can see get rid of rid of the extra nodes and went a little weird that's fine click on it press Q and it squares everything up nicely uh, there's one more thing to do which I forgot to do I normally do it early on it's the school so we set it as a school I don't know what that building is there actually looking at it that has got a long shadow so i reckon that that's another building it is square to the previous buildings so that's going to be joined there's another school building that's it that is absolutely everything and you can see that's the cadastra uh, those are all the items that we've put in I've completed all that before so we shall now and this is the thing to check and now I shall move this little utility out of the way yes it will fix it automatically um, we'll ask it to zoom to the problem it's not on our cadastra it's elsewhere we'll ask it to fix it there it is it's fixed it do it again left wrong one try again that's it she's all up thanks very much for watching i'll say goodbye